Hi, my name is Han. I'm your Saturday moderator for Cubic Cuties, and tonight we are going to be talking about my gender, or rather my lack of gender as I identify as a gender, which means I do not feel any sort of spiritual, emotional, or physical connection to gender, to any gender. Um, when I dress a certain way, when I do, when I grow my hair out this long, I clearly have very long hair, when I put on eyeliner, when I walk, I'm not doing any of those behaviors to appear feminine or masculine to anyone. I'm simply behaving in a way that I find appealing right now. I like my eyeliner like this. It's not a reflection of what I feel inside, it's, it's a reflection of what I like. How I would physically appear if it was my choice is, is complicated, and it's not really attainable for me right now. So how I appear is just how I like. And other people assume based on that. It's not a reflection of me, and other people's opinions couldn't dictate what's inside of me anyway. Being non-binary is tough, though. No one really recognizes me in day-to-day -day interactions. I get sheed a lot, which is really frustrating because I haven't really figured out how to correct people in such a stern way that they're not going to question me or act wild with me because I'm like, no, it's just they. Don't, don't get cute with me. <laughs> And still something I'm trying to figure out. Something that I have been experiencing since switching over my pronouns is people do really react in such odd ways. Such odd ways. It's such a, not a, like an idea that non-binary people exist. The idea that someone could exist outside of our social, con like our gender social construct is just amazing to people just like whoa oh my god when really it's just behaving as myself I'm just behaving in the way that is natural to me I I'm just not behaving in a way that everyone else is telling me to it just I don't know it just makes more sense it makes more sense to just behave like me rather than behaving in ways that make me very uncomfortable to make other people happy or make other people comfortable. I don't feel like my existence is revolutionary in any way. I feel as though like if human beings gave themselves more space to explore the a lot a lot more people would be identifying as non-binary. It just makes more sense to existence to not have a gender. I mean, but that's just me. That's what I think on it. <laughs> um, my pronouns again are they, them, theirs. It makes the most sense. I, I don't like she or he. I just like they, them, theirs. It, it, it just feels more natural. Since coming, since telling other people that I'm a gender, my life feels more natural. It makes more sense. Everything makes more sense. I breathe easier. I, I exist easier. Even though the people outside don't understand, the people here, for me, do. And that's the most important thing, is choosing to exist. Regardless of everyone saying you can't. Too bad. I do. I guess that's revolutionary then. Wanting to exist that bad. So yeah, no gender. That's me. It's going pretty good so far. I'll let you know how it goes as I, I continue. It pretty much wraps up my gender discussion. Gender is not welcome here. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a good night. Thank you for <laughs> listening to me ramble. See ya.